we are going to be talking about our name bar. I am actually going to be taking you through how you are going to be producing a natural and eco-friendly soap that is used for all skin type. It is going to be performing anti and curating purposes like I said initially when I made the neem leaf and the neem oil video. So if you are just coming fresh to this channel, subscribe right now. Press the red button as you are going to have a lot of benefits right here here. For those of all that have been coming along all the way, welcome and let me take you through the step-by-step -step process of producing this nimba from scratch to finish. Come along with me. So here is the neem leaf. I decided to put a little so we can see. So I'm weighing this neem leaf majorly for consistency purposes. I put 50 gram. So if you want to do exactly what I've done, you can repeat this. Otherwise, you can add more of the neem. So I'm measuring my water contents now inside the bowl. You know, I need to ferment the caustic soda. So I'm pouring in this water inside the bowl so that I can ferment the caustic soda. Don't forget that I said that we cannot uh, pour water into caustic soda. We can only pour caustic soda into water. So I'm measuring in my caustic soda now. The caustic soda I measured to use is 250 gram, as you can see in the scale. On the scale rather so you can see me putting the caustic soda there just for us to have a clear understanding and i'm pouring my caustic soda inside water so we can understand i'm going to be posting the recipe some people said i didn't post the recipe for that other bar soap but i felt that i i was explicit enough but i'm going to be posting the recipe for this so you are supposed to Pick up your spatula and stir this caustic soda thoroughly because the caustic soda usually um, is usually very hot. So, if you look where you will see smoke coming out, so the caustic soda is usually very hot. That is why you're supposed to use your glove, you are supposed to use your nose mask. If possible, you, you cover up, you use the goggle. So, I'm turning this so that. I can get a clear solution when you stay your caustic soda very well after a while you are going to get a very clear solution now we are going to be pointing the neem leaf into this caustic soda so that it's going to extract the oil and the uh, neem from the neem leaf that way we'll be able to use it to make the soap you can see me using the spatula to um, Put in the neem leaf, made, made the neem leaf inside the caustic soda solution very well. So normally we are supposed to leave this for minimum of 24 hours. Thereafter you can use it. Minimum. You can do it 3 hours, um, 3 days or more. So I'm showing you my reagent. Here is my PKO. Here is the fermented um, neem caustic soda and neem solution. You can see how deep green it is. Here is my soda ash solution fermented soda ash now here is my sodium sulfate my fragrance i'm using the hr fragrance here is my silicate and then my color i actually made two batches of this soap and here is my calcium i made two batches of this soap i'm posting just one batch now hopefully i'll be posting the second batch so here is my pko i'm pointing the pko into the bowl you are, if you have been following me, you'll be used to, to me using sieve by now. So I'm using the sieve to remove any sediments in the PK oil. You know, when you make, we are making this soap as a baking soup, as an herbal soup. So we should try our best to make sure that any impurity is removed. So I'm also sieving this neem caustic solution. I, I refer to it as that. I'm trying to sieve it so that the neem will come into the sieve. Then I will have just the solution. So I'm actually going to be using only the solution. So I measured my 
palm kernel oil. Then I've been pouring in my caustic soda solution before adding my fermented soda ash. So this um, palm kernel oil, this palm kernel oil, sorry about that, this palm kernel oil I'm using, I'm supposed to use, if I'm using one liter of palm kernel oil, I'll be using half liter of the neem solution. So I'm measuring the neem solution now. Measuring it to be sure that I'm, I'm going to get half of the measurement that I need. So my preparation for the soap now, we are making the preparation. So I'm pouring in my neem solution inside the caustic soda. We are supposed to do this at once. We are not supposed to delay. But by the time I want to start adding my soda ash, I can now take it my time, take a little time at that. So I'm stirring this together to be able to reach a trace. You turn it very well. You can use mixer. My only issue with cold process production, if you use the mixer, the soap will trace too fast. And you will not be able to add other reagents you have in plant to add. So I'm done with adding my caustic soda. I'm about to start adding my soda ash. So when I, I'm measuring, I'm about to measure the soda ash. When I measure the soda ash, and I pour in the soda ash into the caustic soda, into the soap solution now. Because it has my PK oil and my caustic soda already. You are expected to add in your soda ash little by little. I usually use pulp as an example. If you have produced pulp and it's too thick and you want it to become lighter, you are not going to add so much water at the time. The same way we are supposed to be adding our soda ash. You add the soda ash a little, you mix it thoroughly, you, you start watching for reaction. If there's no reaction, there's no need for, no cause for alarm, you add more. You can see I added that soda ash, despite how small it is, I added it like four times. Then you can see how smooth the soap is. Now our soap is not going to come out black. <laughs> As some people will already be having it in mind that will this soap not turn out black? You are going to see the end result of the soap as we go by. It's not going to turn out black. You can see it's having a, a deep brown, a golden brown color. Now here is my sodium sulfate. I just added a pinch. You understand this sodium sulfate can be maybe 116 or 132. I just said if you if you are not careful, the sodium sulfate could bring lumps into the soap. So when you add this, make sure you use the spatula to press it very well to remove anything that has to do with lumps. In some other productions, we liquefy the sodium sulfate. But in this particular production, I'm not liquefying it, I use this dry. So after turning it and mixing it very well, I'm making sure that there's no lump because of the sodium sulfate that I have added. Then I'm going to be adding in my sodium silicate and I'm going to be adding in my fragrance. This particular batch, I didn't add the calcium and the color. There's a second batch that I did that I now added those. So now I'll be adding in my sodium silicate. Sodium silicate helps the soap to be very smooth. We are just supposed to add a little. You can add, see me, I'm adding um, little, little, just like five or uh, eight mil. I didn't add so much, just a little, because the soap is glossy already. If you if you can zoom this, you will see how shiny this soap is, and exactly the way it will make your body shine. If you are battling with rashes, if you are battling with skin impediments, if you are uh, neem oil neem um, soap, we solve a lot of things when it comes to your skin issues. It's going to help you a lot. So I'm adding in my fragrance now. I added just bits. So the fragrance is just like 10 mil. Because we are making a little batch. Where we may not be having so much accuracy. When it comes to the likes of um, fragrance. So I'm adding in just a little. That will be enough to make it smell nice. So in, in cold process production. The palm kernel oil and um, the fragrance. They are the two things that makes the soap go expensive. So if you want a cheaper version, you may not need to add fragrance so much. And if you buy the PKO at the right season, 
then you will not have issue because your, the price of your PK will be very okay. Now I'm pointing the soap into the mode. I'm pointing the soap into the mode. The neem oil helps uh, people with dry skin. If it can be used to prevent um, all these um, chicken pox, measles, skin rashes, it can be used to prevent. It can be used as an after. You know, they will tell us, go and buy seven keys, go and uh, use alcohol and uh, bitter leaf. You can still use this soap after. You understand? It will remove every leftover on the skin, anything that has to do with negativity or skin impediment. For those people that have um, used cream and their skin have gone bad, they can also use this soap. It doesn't pepper on the body. It doesn't have any peppery, peppery sensation. But it will rhyme um, the part that is bad and that part that is not bad. And it's not a lightning soap because we didn't add any lightning agent. That reminds me. The way if you come to the paid class, there are so many things to learn. You will learn how to transform this into a lightning soap. You will learn the reagent that you are supposed to add to make that individual get um, lighter. Because most of the time when rashes or chicken pox or anything happens those parts already have black black spots and we advise that you um, use lightning uh, effect so that it will remove those spots and kill now that is the end of the video now um three days after either three days or five days after you can see the second soap i said i did that is that second soap on the other side but we're not talking about that now this other one that i did i added color but this one we're about to cut now i didn't add any color so now i'm putting it into my cutter if you're interested in the soap cutter it's available you can contact me if you're interested in the soap mode available you can contact me as well so this soap cutter is a one-way soap cutter there are several other soap cutters there are some that you measure everything you want to cut but this one usually cuts exactly this one way and is already measured there so you can see the sample of the soap now i will be hosting um a community discussion a live community discussion and when we when i host that community discussion I'm going to be um, sending this soap to a few people. I hope that uh, you'll be part of them. Thank you and uh, see you in my next video. If you have not subscribed to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like and share. Bye.